Hey, hello. This is Martin from Secrets, the channel for learning about trading and investing. Welcome to the Quick Market Analysis for tomorrow, May 3rd, 2023. So we would basically be analyzing what happened in the market from a technical point of view and then try to learn something from it and then plan for a better trade for the next day. Let's get into the charts so here and here. Yeah. The Nifty 50 charts that you see here, you can clearly see it's a small body. It's a gap up though. On the western horizon, everything intact. There is a couple of handle pattern breakout that's happening, trend and break already happened. The market is taking out this resistance is one by one, but there is some heat down there, is what we have seen today. This is a banging tree, block out of the trend line, block out of the previous breakout zone, right? And very close, hardly you know, 800 points or so to all time high levels of 44,150 above. One is steady rising up, slant steady rooms. It's the sixth day of a pool in the bank tree also, but closing was not that good. It shows them in this, you know, it's a candle, it's kind of a dodgy or a weak, small body, whatever you call it. Same with bank tree also. Closing is not good, but otherwise, attempt of gapping up was excellent. So the gap up shows that it wants to further move up, and the sixth day it is moved up. And the closing was 0.46 in the Nifty and 0.27 up, percentage up on the bank tree. So, if you manage to close above the 18,100, so right, much above the 18k psychological rounding number, and 43,300, much above the 43,000 level. So, clear bullishness is evident all along. And intraday, it was range found after the gap up that happened. The initial gap up went into the resistance, went into the hands of the peers who were waiting there to sell. But otherwise, it's a turn line breakout in order to hammer, in order to handle shoulder pattern breakout. Right. Momentum is absolutely bullish, you know, rising up. And the trend indicator ADX is showing it's in the horizontal bottom and moving average is 20, 50, 100, 200, all down there, are conquered long back. Well, Japan is expanding on the upside. Bullish bias, you no know, twice greater than median, much above the you know, median. And all the indicators further up moves get there, you know, as for the bands. And after interest, if you see it's put correlation is greater than one. And features OI is long built up, it's happening so absolutely foolish there also. FIS have turned buyer since last several days. It's 2000 crores of buying today, fourth day, fourth day of continuous buying is fine. But it's happened that to in you know nearly good candidates of thousand plus kind of crores. So cash market is what is happening. So, institutions are putting land. Major sectors, if you farmer, reality, auto, metal, all of them are good source in the short term on the perspective, but only the IT. No, ID index alone made it, made it the side or something. So, across the sector, up more is what you are seeing. So, today also, you know, except for the farm and FMCG and uh, reality, all of this make one person kind of up moves. So the major heavy weight stocks that contribute to the index, they are also doing good exercises. Right? Plans is back into uh, bullish zones in the short term. As they have about 60, as is the bank, Kodak Bank, which tips with twins, both of them, and Reliance, all of them are in bullish zones in the short term perspective. And it's only the in fee that's still remaining in the, in the bearish zone at the moment in perspective, short term. TCS is made inside, so it's now rising up. So, that's, that's, that's you know, heavy weights are contributing, which, you know, if I was buying and then uh, across the sector moves happening, so it's all bullish and that dominates. But, What's in favor of the bills? Only few factors that will worry. It's today's small body, it works a week. You know? This is a candle pattern, right? The range mount after facing the resistance after the gap up and all that indicates that there could be some protest that can come. Right? So, medium term, momentum is still not climbed with the bullish zone. So, nifty. That's something you have to, it's, you know, something you have to keep in mind for the next time. If it is, um, this is a mistake, not on the both indices on nifty. Right? So, and it is already done that. So the week spiked 8.7 percent today, single day. You know, it's a big spike, nearly 9 percent spike was happening today. Still, it remains at the lower regime, so below the 12. So, big spiking up normally, you know, uh, and the market still closing high, indicates that up may not be uh, for real. So, that also indicates that there is a retracement that can come. Now, the US indices are still in the condition zone. There is one broken out, it is on the top of the descending wedge, trying to break out of that, and it has been staying there and at the top of that wedge since a very long time. Right. It, but it's on, the, it's on the top, it's not on the bottom side. So it's struggling to break out. You know, while we have blocked out, US market is struggling to break out, but it's the top of a huge resistance. So, in the reversal, could be possible, is what we have you know, to think. Now, the the main week is still 82 close by, it's not living that. So, that's what all the dollars, uh, you know, uh, cold off like that. 
rupee has not gained enough sense. So also it's factor in favor of the view of the viewers. Mm -hmm. That's it. So what I expect this is this to summarize what happened today was this gap. Got into the resistance 60 of a pound, decent up more happened, but no, it fell in the resistance is clear. The week spiked up. It was the VIX is the world is mixing the VIX spiked up. The US market is a crucial resistance at all. Matters two things that is great concern and today's candidate pattern also sequence. So I'm not absolutely no problem. The trend is also ADX is also fine. Trend line channel boring breaking out in better hand head and shoulder pattern breaking out. All in favor of both the bonding band subside. The VIX is still below 12 lower which is uh, actually in the in, in the higher levels. There is a possibility of a reversal. There is also a possibility of breaking out also, right? So then if you look at it, it's positive. So all the signals are all still in favorable. So view for tomorrow as per the charts is my bullish, but uh, it could happen that there is a buy on bits that can happen. It, it could also happen that it, it can retrace to 18,000 and up to and then next level can be used. That's what I look forward to. So tomorrow's levels could be 18,800, 43,000 to 43,600 bank. So medium term, the levels are 18,300 and the upside resistance 43,600 bank. And downside, 7,500 and 42,000. So 18,000 and 43,000 are the two levels which is not broken. Then further up on the short term can happen easily. Right? So what is given here is a medium term, what is given here is uh, the short term for tomorrow basically. Right? So that's a view is bullish but you have to be cautious there has to be some retreats that has to come after uh, big moves. Right? So, the, so, uh, so that's the summary. Uh, if you are watching this and if you are not subscribed, please subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. We have very few solutions, I appreciate the help as well. And if this is, we have found this uh, to give you some clarity on the market view for tomorrow, please like, please put in your feedback, comment also, and also subscribe if you are not done so, and then share with friends and colleagues. And also, uh, that's it, always hit your versions which can spike up. It is a very, it's, it's in a, uh, there is a deviation to the VIX. If you see market rising up, VIX is also rising up. So that's a deviation. And we said extreme low levels previous uh, week and every time it's an extreme bump, the spike up scale is huge. So I'll be a little cautious. Portion size properly, we'll do the risk management. That's it. That's it. Um, if you want to have this uh, telegram services, check out the description and then click on the link. Right. So thanks for watching. Happy trading, happy learning, happy investing. Bye bye.